Hi guys, welcome back to the news. The rift between the governor of Edo State, Godwin Obasiki, and his deputy, Mr. Paul Shwaibo, is getting messier by the day. Yes, my country people, it is getting messier by the day. And Sheyusani has reacted to this and has also revealed the party that will benefit from Obaseki and Shwaibu's war. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The former Kaduna State Senator, Sheyu Sani, has revealed his position regarding the ongoing political crisis in Edo State. Sani, who described the alleged rift between Governor Godwin Obasiki and Paul Shwaibo as a war, said the Labour Party and the APC will benefit from the issue. This is coming a few hours after Shwaibo's office was reportedly relocated from the Edo State uh, Government House. And now the former senator of Kaduna Central District, Sheyu Sani, has waited in on the alleged rift between Governor Godwin Obasiki of Edo State and his deputy, Mr. Paul Shwaibo. In a post shared on his ex page on Saturday, Sani revealed the poli the political crisis that will benefit from the issue. The former lawmaker at the National Assembly, who described the rift as war, well, said either the Labour Party or the All Progressive Congress APC will benefit from the political battle ongoing in Edo State, my country people. Well, all this is coming um, amid uh, the news that has been, you know, trending that uh, Shwaibu's office was recently relocated, you know, to another location. Instead of being in the government house, in fact, so we got to see that this battle is getting more messier yeah, as the day goes by. And all this battle is coming up because um, Shwaibu, Paul Shwaibu, have an interest of uh, running for you know, the governorship position in Edo State. And Governor Godwin Obasiki is against this. He's against this. So he's not in support of his deputy, you know, taking uh, over power from him. So with all this going on, we've seen how uh, the deputy governor, Paul Shwaibo, was, you know, kicked out of an event recently. He wasn't allowed to, you know, near the governor. Uh, the governor's, you know, security aides blocked Shwaibos. And, you know, this video clip really trended online. Uh, Shwaibo was seen walking into the venue, but then he was stopped at the entrance, you know. They wouldn't uh, uh, allow him to meet with the governor. So a lot of things is really going on in Edo State, a lot of problems. Uh, and this is as a result of the rift between Governor Godwin Obasiki and his deputy, Paul Shwaibo. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this? Now, Sheyu Sani have reacted, saying that with all this going on and the election just, you know, looming, who knows what will happen? The PDP and the Labour Party, I beg your pardon, the APC and the Labour Party, they will be the one to benefit from all this crisis, surely they will be the ones to benefit of because currently they are just looking at the war in Edo State and he has described that the Labour Party and the APC will surely benefit from this issue and this is just coming you know, a few hours after it was reported that uh, the Deputy Governor Shwaibu's office was uh, relocated from uh, the government house to outside of the government house. Yes, my country people, the office of the Edo State uh, Deputy Governor Paul Shwaibo has been relocated to a building outside, you know, the government house, which is not supposed to be so. And this development, as we all know, you know, followed the the dispute between the governor, Godwin Obasiki, and himself. And it was gathered that the new office is... Uh, 
situated at number 7 Dennis Osadebe Avenue, uh, very close to the government house. And uh, the new deputy governor's office used to be the state public procurement office commissioned by the former governor of the state, Senator Adams Oshomole, on December 16, 2014. And yes, we know that uh, this crisis between Obasiki and his deputy has taken a new twist recently. And we, uh, we shouldn't forget that uh, it was uh, the, a viral video had trended where Shuaibu walked out of an event organized by the by the government after you know security aides were forced to kick him out of the hall and um, this event happened barely 24 hours after the department of the state service dss operatives denied shwaibu's access to obasiki yes my country people the incident happened at a church service to mark the 32nd anniversary of the creation of edo state and aside from that, the governor has disbanded the media crew attached to the office of the deputy governor. So Obasiki directed Shuaibu to henceforth request for a media coverage of activities from the Ministry of Communication and the Orientation. And this battle for succession has really, you know, pitched the deputy governor against Obasiki. And with what we are hearing, uh, Shuaibu hails from the Edo North Senatorial District and he plans to succeed Obasiki, an indigenous of Benin in the Edo South Senatorial District. However, uh, reports reaching us is that Obasiki is uh, pushing for a successor from the Ishan land in Edo Central Senatorial District. So you see, the both of them are at loggerheads with each other. Now, Sani have said, with all this going on, well, it would give the ruling or progressive congress apc an upper hand and also the labor party in the state guys i'm dropping here kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section thank you bye for now